Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mod Library, my weekly series where I spotlight awesome new mods. Now, this one we're looking at is Smartcade. It's kind of a game and kind of this 3D virtual environment that represents your desktop and the internet at large. I know that sounds crazy and I'm going to show you what I mean by all that, but it's pretty badass actually. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we're going to go to Start Arcade and we're going to go into, now you can see there are multiple houses that you can choose from and you unlock them by actually playing it. Now you start with this shitty apartment, you only need a thousand points and then you can unlock the first house. And I'm working up to the party cabin. Uh, eventually you get the E3 packs in the nightclub. So let's, let's load right into the one that I've actually been working on. So I said this is a 3D virtual environment representing your desktop and the internet at large. We just loaded in. All you need to play this by the way is Steam. I just Steam installed, and you can download off the ModDB page. The link is down in the description below. And the first room we loaded into is a representation of pretty much TGN, actually, the hub channel for TGN. Uh, it's all my TG10s, not all of them, but quite a few of them, put up on the walls. And what you can do is you can customize these houses and uh, the ones at nightclub any way you want and show off your multimedia and have a way of representing your multimedia in this crazy 3D environment. So all these are actually my videos right off of TGN. There's one off my personal channel. Top 10 needed sequels in gaming. Uh, as an example, let's load up, oh, top 10 reasons to be excited for Star Citizen. I walk up to it and I can just click it and anybody can do this in the multiplayer and it'll instantly start playing the video and I can actually like see it in a 3D Hello, space. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yeah, to TG10. That's me. <laughs> Ten reasons to be excited. All right, let's for turn Star me down. And there you go. It'll play it. And it'll play any video off the internet, which is pretty cool. But not just videos. Like, let's take a walk. Take a walk through the house. I just started decorating it, so not every room has got stuff like you can see. Lots of space in this place. Uh, I haven't done anything with this one yet. There's Counter Strike. It'll actually preload all your Steam games, so you can put them on here. Here's my. Uh, Borderlands, Half-Life room I'm still working on. I got my War Thunder over here in the corner. And I can click this, and it auto-loads these skins. Like, you can see it says War Thunder on the side. I'll show you how to do this. And there you go, it starts playing a trailer of it. Now, if you hold down right-click, you can bring up your mouse. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm running my mouse right now. Let's just click it, bring it up full screen. Left-clicking brings it up full screen so you can actually watch it. So you're thinking, well, why can't I just, why don't I just, you know, go to YouTube and and watch this stuff? And you totally can. It's much easier to do that, but that's not the point of this. The point of this is that you can share this with your friends. They can see your games, right? They can see what you have. This is my Steam game list uh, for my Fallout games. They've actually got uh, the Fallout screen there, the, uh, the Fallout logos. And then kind of see what your favorite games are and just... A way of sharing your stuff. For me, it's really cool because let's walk into the next room. There you go. This is my, uh, I don't know, random what we know series is up there on the walls. This is a way to represent my channel or TGN, the hub channel, either one, in a physical place to actually walk through. Like instead of just seeing playlists, I'm seeing these videos as big old posters on the walls. What we know about Dragon Age 3 Inquisition, you know, there's a series that I did. And as you play, you actually unlock stuff. So there's a sense of progression. Let's see, I'll hit C here, which is how you look at what you've unlocked. I've already unlocked some new cabinets. Uh, what did I unlock? Uh, a new wall tablet portrait. So I can use to put stuff on the walls. Click that. <laughs> the Zelda sound effect. I love it. And a CD wall mount for like a CD case. And every time he updates it, he adds more stuff. He just added uh, 30 new items that you can unlock. Uh, there's 3D models like this couch here, this poker table. Uh, I saw some people with like 3D models of uh, different Pokemon, of a Stormtrooper's armor. I don't know how to get that stuff. I assume you go to their forums and you can download those kind of uh, those mods for this. Let me go back downstairs real quick and we'll go into the space sim room. My uh, Madonna War series, Madonna War 2, the original Madonna War, I love this game. Oh, how I love this game. And there's different uh, models, like let's see here, we'll spawn one in real quick. Let's search Madonna War, we'll pull up one of the random Madonna War games I've got on my PC. 
uh, automatically loads your Steam list. So there we go. And I can choose different things to use. Though, say I want to put something on this wall. Let's put wow, big old car one. Oh, that one's cool. Let's rock that one. But there's tons of them. We'll just scroll through real quick. Tons of them, and you're unlocking more and more the more you play. Oh, Pinball Dawn of War. That's perfect. Let's do that. What happens when you click this one? Where does it play the trailer from? I don't know. Maybe because it doesn't, maybe you can't find something on YouTube. Because it auto loads trailers right off of YouTube for these. So, Dawn of War 2. Oops. There it goes. No, it's just telling me if I want to launch or not. And you can launch your game straight from here too. Now in the last update, and we'll walk over to the Space Sim Room. The last update they did, they have over the shoulder game viewing. So if you're playing a game, you can actually watch your buddy play his game from the console. So if I was playing here on this crappy old CRT TV, uh, and it was a game, say it was Super Mario Brothers, uh, you could actually have your buddies watch you play it from right behind you. Now, multiplayer doesn't seem to work, for playing games because it'll just launch the game in a separate window automatically for you when you walk up to it. Let's go ahead and play that. Why not? <laughs> cool. Very cool. An old TV. Watching my YouTube videos off an old TV. So you can stream it, but the way you do it is you have to stream through Twitch is the new system because this isn't actually a streaming service. It's just software. Kind of neat though. You can throw up posters and stuff, which you guys saw upstairs. So that pretty much wraps this up. It's it's a simple concept, but it's really fun to play with. What kind of rooms can you customize? Uh, what, how would you set up yours? Like this is my my uh, my space sim room. I got my Star Citizen videos up there. Probably gonna put some Star Citizen posters on the walls, and you can run a, a dedicated server so people can join you and check it out. Mostly. Mostly. All right. Let's pause that. Eh. Yep, kind of neat, there we go. Run up and just play stuff. He's also got multi-streaming screens now, so if you have the same video on two different places in your house, you can uh, dual monitor, the, monitor them in the game world, which is kind of cool. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this episode of Mod Library. I hope I showed you guys something cool you might never have seen before. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next Mod Library. Later, later. Yeah, that would be really nice. That would be pretty badass. So he's sitting on top of the default starfighter that the game comes with. Not very impressive because everybody's seen that. So let's show them. You take command. I'm going to jump into a... Let's check out the damage. I love the damage modeling in this. I mean, oh, they can lock down the frame rate.